so I haven't done a haul video in so long, it's been months and months and I have bought quite a lot recently in various different countries, so from Indonesia, from America and obviously in London as well. So I thought I would just put everything into one haul video and just show you what I've bought. So it's going to be quite a collective haul of various different things such as beauty products, fashion stuff and also some food and just bits and bobs that I bought in Bali. So the first thing, I'm going to keep it close to home and show you something that I bought the other day in London on Regent Street. It's this jumper from And Other Stories and you might not be aware that And Other Stories is owned by the same company that have H&M and also Cos as well, maybe a couple of others but they're the three that I know. And people have been raving about And Other Stories for the past like couple of years and every time I go in there I haven't really seen anything I like and it's quite expensive um, for what I thought for what it was but actually I went in there the other day and their stuff is just really lovely quality and you can just kind of tell that it's on a little bit more high end scale compared to H&M. And I've actually just shot an outfit post for my blog so that will go up very soon, like maybe it's up now, if it is I'll put it in the description down below but it might not be so keep on waiting. <laughs> but yeah I wore this with just some ripped jeans, I'm actually wearing those jeans now. And also with the coats that I'm about to show you. I can't remember how much this jumper was, I think it was around the £50 mark. Um, but you can just tell the quality is really lovely and I'm looking forward to wearing this with like a skirt, tucked into a skirt with tights and boots, I think that will look really nice. So this is the coat here that I was just talking about that I also wore in the blog post. It's very long, longer than I would normally go for but I knew this season I definitely wanted one like that. I haven't actually worn it out since I took all the photos because I'm quite nervous to go out wearing a coat this long because I'm not used to wearing it. It's quite a statement coat, I think. And the colour is something that I wouldn't normally go for, but I do absolutely love it. And I just got some boots as well that are in a similar kind of colour, so I think I'll wear them with this. And I'm not sure if I've said it already, but this is from French Connection. It was £180, um, but when it comes to winter, Every couple of years I like to invest in a really lovely winter coat and if you think about it you wear these coats for most of the whole season because everything you have underneath people don't really see because you're just wearing your coat the whole time so I definitely think it's worth just getting a really nice coat that you can just wear for weeks on end and not get fed up of wearing it. While I was in Bali I discovered that the shopping was very good there, particularly in Seminyak, um, which is a bit more buzzing than other areas that we had been in. And there were just some really lovely independent small boutique shops that there's stuff in there you're not going to find anywhere else around the world so I couldn't resist and buy a few bits. So this is a very different vibe to the jumper and the coat that I've just shown you. It's a summer dress and I know this is so not fitting for this time of year but I just had to show it because I absolutely love it. It's just um, a short, shortish kind of dress and it's cut off so sleeveless and it's just very lovely and loose fitting. The materials in this shop were absolutely beautiful, I just fell in love. All of them were so different, all of the textures, all of the patterns, just really lovely. I'm trying to remember what the name of the shop was called. I can't remember, it was actually a um, woman from Singapore that opened it and I wrote a whole blog post about it and I never put it up and I kind of feel like I can't put it up now because it's been so many weeks since I got back from Bali but if you are still interested to see that blog post then let me know down below and I'll put it up even though it's so outdated now. <laughs> so that's everything I have to show you clothes wise and now moving on to beauty products. I recently got back from New York and I was there for work so every day was pretty full on with meetings and I was also there for BeautyCon which was amazing to meet so many of you. Um, but on the Sunday when we flew home we had that kind of afternoon to explore a bit. So I kind of felt I'm in New York, I need to go to Sephora because obviously everyone loves Sephora and as much as I love beauty products, Sephora's almost a bit too overwhelming for me. Every time that I've gone in in the past I just walk in and I'm like, this is too much, I don't know what to get, I don't know where to look, I don't know what brands are good in here. So. I've never bought anything from Sephora before, but luckily this time I was in very capable hands. I was with Louise, who basically just took me by the hand everywhere and told me what was good. So if it wasn't for her, I definitely wouldn't have bought anything in there. And one of the first things I spotted were the Laura Mercier eyeshadow sticks. 
I have heard about these quite a lot. I think Lily Pebbles has these. I've definitely seen one like beauty vlogger talk about these and they've always looked amazing. And I bought two colours and looking at them here at the end, they look very similar. But when you actually wear them together, they look really nice. They kind of complement each other and they blend really, really well. They were quite pricey. I can't remember exactly how much they were but you can just tell that they're a really good quality product. I got the colour Rose Gold and this is the first one that I found. I chose this one because it's a quite a light champagne-y kind of colour and the other one I got is called Moonlight and even though it does look quite similar when they're on it definitely has more of a grey silver tone to it. Now moving on to something much more affordable it is the 17 Define and Conquer Contour Kit. They're both matte powders so that means that you can build it as much as you like. They're really easy to blend and you don't get that real heavy heavy shine from normal highlighting kits. I don't put that much effort into my makeup so this is just super easy to achieve that contoured look. And I've also found that this is such a good dupe of other high-end contour palettes that are out there at the moment. This is only £5.99 which I think is amazing value for what it is. And also I just carry this around in my handbag if I need to apply a bit more bronzer or just add that highlight powder. And this is a really new product. I think it was only launched around like middle of October time and it just sold out everywhere. So this this was so hard to get hold of but the last time I checked it was available on boots.com so I'll link that down below for you guys if you were interested. So this leads me on to my next product because this goes really well with the contour kit. It is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and it's a set of three different highlights and they're all absolutely gorgeous. They look very similar in there together but individually they work very differently and I found by layering a little bit of this shimmer highlight on top of the highlight that I already have on from the contour kit it just takes daytime makeup through to evening really nicely. And this hourglass palette I got in Sephora in New York as well and Louise approved so I'm very happy that I've got this. I've got a few like foodie bits to show you that I bought in Bali but first of all I just have to show you these coconut bowls that we bought in Singapore and in Bali we were ordering these smoothie bowls that were absolutely amazing I've like Instagrammed a million times about them and they were served in these coconut bowls and we said we need to get some to take back home but we didn't find any in Bali but totally randomly we were walking down the street in Singapore and we saw these and they were so ridiculously cheap like probably a dollar each or something and we've just been loving having these at home I make my own smoothie bowls and put them in there even having cereal just anything I think they're really cool when I was in a bird in Bali we were taken to this plantation where they grow loads of fresh vegetables fruit like everything you could think of and they also had all of their own spices and at the end they had them all for sale and I just could not resist this pack it's like crazy long it's got everything in there that you need and it's all organic barley spices so we've got turmeric here we've got lemongrass cinnamon chili cloves loads of amazing different things and I haven't opened it yet because I knew I wanted to do a haul so I've been waiting to do this and show you so I can finally get in there and start using them now from the same place I also got some vanilla pods because over here in the UK they're just ridiculously expensive I can't justify buying them it's because they're not native here and out there they were just really cheap so yeah I bought quite a few I think there's like 10 in there so I'm looking forward to using these we also went to visit a chocolate factory and I was in my absolute element. I'm such a chocoholic. People always ask me, oh do you miss chocolate because you're vegan? No, not at all because I eat so much chocolate. I basically eat dark chocolate when I'm over here because milk chocolate obviously has milk in it. And in this chocolate factory it was a place called Pod and they had all of their chocolate for sale and their chocolate was made with coconut milk rather than dairy milk so I absolutely loved it. We bought about three of these big bars, all different flavours. This one here is the only one that's left and it was the barley cinnamon and they had tasters of everything so I tried this, loved it and I, yeah I've been waiting to open this because I wanted to show you this in the haul as well so I'm definitely going to get this open tonight. And the last thing I'm going to show you is this barley ginger root powder that I bought in Seminyak in this lovely health food shop and cafe called Down to Earth. If you're ever around there definitely go and check it out, their food is really lovely. And while I was in Bali I noticed on the menu they always had ginger tea so I started having this every morning. It was so delicious, very strong, almost spicy from the ginger but they told me that it was made from ginger root powder so I had to just go and buy some. I haven't used this yet, I need to make some tea with it but they basically mix some kind of sweetener with hot water and this ginger tea and maybe a bit of lemon as well 
It's so delicious, I can't even tell you, so <laughs> I can't wait to use this. Oh, I just found this little chili. I've got to show this. Basically, our hotel in Java, it was basically in the middle of nowhere. It was in Borobudur, in the countryside where they had all of the fields and the crops, and our hotel was bang smack in the middle of this field. So all of the workers were there, like, getting all the corn and everything, and there was a chili plant right next to our sunbeds, and I was like, oh, Marcus, I'd love to go and, like, get a chili and take it home and he kept telling me to do it so I finally just went and picked a chili and I brought it all the way home and it's like dried and survived I don't want to use it I'm just gonna keep it I think it's a really cute thing to have in the kitchen it'll probably go moldy eventually so that is everything I had to show you from Bali London New York I really hope you like this haul I know it's a bit like all over the place because there's things from all different places and all different types of things but they're always my favorite kind of hauls to film anyway anyway guys I will see you very soon bye I think these are perfect if you're gonna have a dinner party or just have friends around just to celebrate Halloween. I'm gonna dive in and try some because it's just too good to resist.